Mechanical advantage systems are classified into one of three categories. Firstly, we have simple systems. Simple systems are formed of a continuous length of rope running through pulleys at the anchor and at the load. A more formal definition is that moving pulleys in a simple system will always be moving in the same direction and at the same speed. Secondly, we have compound systems. A compound system is simply two or more simple systems joined together, with one system pulling on what would normally be the whole strand of another system. A more formal definition is that pulleys in motion in a compound system are all moving in the same direction, but at at least two different speeds. Finally, we have complex systems. A complex system is simply anything that isn't simple or compound. More formally, complex systems have pulleys in motion that are moving in opposing directions. Complex systems live up to their name. They are complex to build and even more complex to assess. There are no simple techniques to allow you to easily assess the advantage of a complex system. And if you have the right techniques to be able to assess a complex system, you have to think very hard to do it, often while using a pen and paper to take notes while working through calculations. In my experience, there are no situations where a complex system has advantages over a compound system, except for showing off. In this video, we're going to look at the three most common simple systems that we use, as well as some tips and techniques to simplify building and assessing any simple system. Behind me, we have the two simple systems that we looked at in the previous video. On the left, a simple two to one, and on the right, a simple three to one. I wanted to draw your attention to a couple of key characteristics of these systems. Starting with the two to one, as you can see, we have one pulley in the system and the end of our haul rope is attached to the anchor. Moving to our three to one, you can see we have two pulleys with the end of the rope attached to our load. Now we'll look at a simple five to one system. We now have a simple five to one system. And looking at this, we can see that there are four pulleys in total and the end of our rope is attached to the load. There are two useful rules we can derive from what we've just seen. Firstly, the number of pulleys in a simple system is always one less than the mechanical advantage of that system. A two to one requires one pulley, a three to one, two pulleys, a four to one, three pulleys, a 42 to one, 41 pulleys. Secondly is the placing of the end of the rope. For even mechanical advantage systems, such as our two to one, but also a four to one, a six to one, an eight to one, and so on, the rope end is always attached to our anchor. On the other hand, for odd mechanical advantage systems, three to one, five to one, seven to one, and so on, the end of the rope is always attached to our load. With these two rules, we can easily construct or assess any simple mechanical advantage system in the field. We don't need to memorize different mechanical advantage systems. We just need to be able to determine the number of pulleys that that system requires and where we need to position the rope end. Now we're going to move outside and look at applying these rules to building a six to one simple mechanical advantage system. My goal here is to build a simple six to one system. Because six is an even number, I know that one end of my rope needs to be attached to the anchor. And because the number of pulleys we need is one less than the advantage, I know we need five pulleys. So I'm going to take my rope, attach one rope end to the anchor, and run the rope back and forth between the anchor and load, making a loop at each end where we'll attach pulleys later. For this system, our anchor is the small tree on my right where a purple sling has been attached, and my load is the larger tree to my left with an orange sling attached to it. We've also attached a load cell to the orange sling, which will allow us to see the practical mechanical advantage of this simple six to one in the configuration and with the pulleys we're using today. So let's get started. One, two, three, four. 
Now that our rope is laid out, ready to become a six to one, all that's left is to place a pulley in each loop and connect everything together. And there's our six to one system ready for use. Before we do a test haul on it, we're going to attach a second load cell to the hauling strand of the system. We've already got a load cell at the load strand, so having one at the haul will allow us to check both the input force and the output force, and, and thereby calculate the practical mechanical advantage. So I'll just attach that to the haul strand with some alpine butterflies. Now let's do a haul and see what the numbers tell us. From the load cells, we applied a maximum of 48 kilograms of force on the haul strand, which resulted in a maximum of 162 kilograms of force on the anchor. That gives us a practical mechanical advantage of just under 3.4 to 1. Not terrible, but also not great for what was supposed to be a 6 to 1 mechanical advantage. In the next video, we'll look at how we can improve upon that for a 6 to 1 system using compound systems.